Hello everyone, my name is Cetus and welcome back to Imperator Rome as Thrace. In the last episode we were dealing with some very minor civil wars. Uh, we crushed one of them and we're basically about to crush the other one. And we've spent a lot of money on trying to improve the assimilation of people. Uh, so let's unpause and finish up this war, which shouldn't be too bad. We just need to, you know, finish this siege, get rid of our most mercenaries, and life will be good. Which I'm kind of expecting this to be just a couple of ticks away. Our main army is currently uh, training to uh, improve our military experience, which is good. Oh, interesting, the mercenaries ruin that ratio. I mean, it kind of makes sense. But we're going to finish this. The okay, war is ending, very nice. Anytime now. See, we have more places at risk at um, rebelling on us. A lot of people over here. And has received support, that's fine. Why so unhappy? I only see positives, but you're at a zero. Hmm. At least we're above 50 stability now, which is very nice. We can just finish this war, civil war. And it's the it's the rebellions that are kind of forcing us not to expand the way I necessarily would like to at this point. But we're going to actually just immediately uh, expand. We don't need to be paying them. This is going to finish sieging, and then we're just going to take that. And aggressive expansion. Aggressive expansion is almost zero. This is kind of crazy. I've been at war the most, and yet somehow have the lowest aggressive expansion, war exhaustion, and tyranny that I've probably had since, you know, like episode two of this, this series. Well, you know, I continue to be very tempted to invade uh, Pythia, or not Pythia, Antiquity Kingdom. Egypt's almost willing to join us, which is kind of what I'm waiting for and hoping with that. Doing it when we're at risk of rebellion seems foolish, but, uh, you know, maybe we'll just dive in on that war anyway. How many ships do they have? 17, that's very, very dealable. Prosperity. Access, surely nobody will notice. Uh, no, we'll take the popularity and the stability. 100%. I feel like we kind of need ourselves to die. Because we're so corrupt. Who's our successor? You already have kids, which is nice. You're actually pretty good. You're not married. Oh, siblings, not kids. We, you should be married. You should be married. And not to our family. So, hang on. I want to see... I want to see families. Because we're the green family. Probably, if we could, a wife from blue would be best. Blue or red are the two big families. So either one of those would be good. Blue or red. Range marriage. Uh, near death. <laughs> how, how old are we? 17. Well, not quite us yet, but one day. So by age. Green, the youngest one we got. The next is 30. So she would actually match our age and not be kind of creepy. Uh, what do we got for traits? Main bloodline. Okay. I mean, about the same bloodline, but, you know, let's not think about that. This, you know, it's been, a, like, at least two generations. It's, let's not think about that. Uh, energetic. 
Basho finesse, statesmanship, foolish finesse, holding income, devout, loyal. Okay, so that actually seems very good. Her skills are very mediocre. Fives down the board, except for finesse, which she's bad at. But I think that's fine. So this person's more healthy. She's loving. Uh, her skills aren't much better. Greedy, abrasive. Also that bloodline. We're gonna go with this guy. Wonderful. Make sure we secure the bloodline. Great, that sounded weird. The, have children, so it keeps moving down. Not, not the bloodline. <laughs> uh, wasn't there one of these? Summon War Counter, demand Oath of Allegiance. So it takes a hundred political influence to do that, and that would probably be worth doing soon-ish. Uh, what is... Can I see that health thing for me? Oh, ailing. There we go. So I might try and save up 100 political influence for that. I've never had this much issue with political influence. I kind of like it. It feels balanced now instead of before where I would just be like, takes political influence? Who cares? Uh, Palace of the... Okay, the sheer grandeur... Of the palace has attracted travelers from all over the region. It's not common for them to vacation. So, we will not let our divine monument be tainted by foreigners. Gain stability. Local population happiness goes down. This must be... Or there must be a monetary gain for this kind of exposure. Lose stability. Gain money. And we're doing really good on stability. So we could actually afford that. Or gain... No, we don't need people. We'll take the slight stability hit for the money. Because we're trying to encourage assimilation. So this is the province that just rebelled against us. So what do we got going here? This is really crummy little province, isn't it? <laughs> got 11 people here. I almost feel like you should have a city. Uh, migration speed and assimilation speed. We'll build that. And then anywhere else with a lot of people? Oh, a number of places. Ten. I saw a ten. Ten. Go to another one of those. We'll go. We want that one. We'll take one last one. And then we're going to force you to do cultural assimilation. And then we're going to come back to this province. This one, I think, that just rebelled, right? Yeah, we're building our great temple. So we don't have the money. Oh, we've spent all our money. Well, that's fine. We have a number of things we want to spend our money on, but that's that's fine. We should save up and finish this. Um, we really should finish this mission tree. We need three libraries there. But I want to do this one. So I need 600 gold. So I should not spend until I have 600 gold. I need to be strong. I keep forgetting. But I need to be strong. Touched by Hermes, a uh, huge influence of traders. So we will be inspired by the god and make the most out of this. Gain a ton of money in local taxes. No, yeah, no. Money. Okay, so we have the 600 gold for this. Do we have the loyalty to move our capital? We do. We do. Um, relocate capital. I'm going to make sure that's the right place. P O R O N E. Yeah, okay. So step one relocate venture capital there. Fine, that's a good start. Step two we need olives and, and grain, fish, livestock, or vegetables. So. Okay, we'll get rid of the camels. 
and grain fish. Those are the only two I remember. That's probably fine. We can probably deal with one of those. Grain from Egypt. We can do this and we get a ton of slaves in a bunch of different places here, which is absolutely fantastic because slaves are your best source of money, like just straight income. So that's a great one for us. Okay. Lovely. And from there, we can take growth of Hella, which gives us local building slots and import routes. Also great, and we gain some minor characters. Uh, by strengthening our authority in Pella and showing local society in Macedonia that our state is both powerful and willing to reward those who serve us, we have inspired a generation of new men, persons of ability that now seek the opportunity to serve the country. Wonderful. Do we care about this one? We spend 300 gold and we can maybe find metals or minerals. What are our current trade goods there? Olives, leather, and cloth. So that might be worthwhile because metals will get us more money. But it's not critical to me. And I'm honestly not that worried about it. Like we own so much land, one extra metal, I don't think it's going to make or break us. So I think we'll just focus on going down here now. And that's fine. Like things are going well. Can we start our war here? Egypt is less willing to join. Egypt, stop messing with your manpower. I don't know what you're up to, but stop it. Just just stop it. We are going to have more rebellions, but that's fine. Like Xenophobia. Uh, heated debates in our course are not uncommon, etc., etc. Lately, a wave of xenophobia has swept across Thrace, resulting in foreign values being regarded with great distrust. Turn the other cheek, lose loyalty, gain popularity and prominence. Oh, he gains popularity and prominence, but less loyalty for me. Wait, Turin is practically Iberian? A Iberian culture is a member of a Gaelic culture group. Pops belonging to this culture can raise the following levies. Uh... I gain popularity, prominence, and we become rivals. That's kind of funny, because it's like, hey, you're being super xenophobic, but you're, you're not fully Greek either. Uh, we'll turn the other Greek. Cheek. I... We'll turn the other cheek. That's fine. We don't need any of those bonuses. Like, honestly, things are going pretty good. Other than the the spikes of rebellion throughout our land, which that's less places than it was. Now that our stability is solid and everything, uh, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. And I'm, I'm tempted to start our expansion going in game. Oh, well, we have our, we have a rebellion. Oh, no. you, you, you gone messed up. <laughs> My army is right there. We don't even need to go anywhere. We're just going to saunter over. But this is good because we'll have 100 provincial loyalty and then we'll be able to build some cultural conversion because we're focusing on culture now because our religion, I mean, it's not everywhere in our empire, but like that's pretty decent. Which also, we should totally take this land and this land. Because uh, that's all our Greek culture, which is nice. That's all our Greek culture, too. Are they... Okay, hang on. Oratory advancement, which we need to come back to. But are you run by Greeks? You are. So you're just converting the land for me, and then I will take the land from you. And all will be good. Have you guys stayed? You have. Not that you're doing a good job of switching the religion or the culture if you are trying to. Wait, why are you not showing me? Yeah, that's what I want. I mean, there's little bits of it. 
throughout. Well, that's actually kind of exciting. I don't need to rush because they're just doing my work for me. Uh, okay, wait. Oratory advancement. Oratory. Uh, we were pushing down this way, I guess. Subject opinion. Aggressive expansion impact. Tributary income. Uh, yeah. Research. Subject opinion. We don't have a lot of subjects right now, and we haven't been focusing on taking subjects. Which is a lot of what this is doing. Like, the aggressive expansion is good. We're never going to do that. Aggressive expansion, aggressive expansion. War score cost. See, war cost cost is great. Imperial challenge. That sounds like a cool war war goal. What do we got over here? Uh, change governor policy, less penalty. Diplomatic reputation, monthly tyranny. Uh, capacity. Assassinate cost. We don't really do assassination. We probably should. Reputation, reputation. I don't know that any of this is exciting me that much. I feel like I should be pushing down these, but... Reputation, loyalty... Nothing is really thrilling me. Like, there's like odd things, like the loyalty stuff is obviously good. And some of these are giving us people, like, giving us a bunch of nobility. Like, that's great. Somewhere up here, yeah, here, a bunch of freemen. That's great. Um, ability for people. Eh. More loyalty. This is all making tributaries better, which maybe we shouldn't surround ourselves with tributaries more. Right? And we could pull pull from that. And the people here are good. Change government policy cost. Maybe we'll push down. We'll grab the people. Because pop capacity is good. But we'll grab the aggressive expansion for now. Turn off planning mode. Grab the aggressive expansion. Turn on planning mode. Those will be next. Uh, I don't need Egypt involved in this. You cannot go through my land. All places are at risk of rebelling, and we lost some trade routes. So do we want to double up on wine, iron, base metals? Iron gets us heavy infantry discipline, so we want a second iron for sure. Base metals. What does base metals get us? Citizen happiness, that's probably pretty good. What does Papyrus give us in wine? Legion maintenance cost, that's pretty good. Papyrus, tech investment. We're going to take base metals. And then wine. Wine? Yeah, wine. We're just all trade from Egypt. Egypt is our best buds. And no one can tell us otherwise. Oh, they joined in the Olympics. So they must be Greek too, still. Yeah, they're still running on the Greek family. They didn't switch to the Egyptian family. Which is gain. Good for me. They'll be dealing with cultural conversion. Hopefully, Egypt and the other nations have done a lot of it by the time we get to conquering them. It will make our lives much, much better. Much, much better. Uh, nearing the end of this episode, let's try and finish up this civil war. Let's try and end an episode without war being a thing. Yeah, no. Why would it be risky? Why would we say no to this? I haven't seen a pop-up that would indicate why no to the Olympics would be the option that I would want to take. Doesn't make sense to me. Ooh, mission can be completed. Oh, we can do our prospecting. I still, I'm still not convinced that we want to. I do know we need three libraries here. Libraries? Libraries. I said it with so much confidence and then immediately doubted myself. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, and we're going to succeed at this. Right here. No, no we're not. We're going to wait for one more tick. 
No, you can't go through my land. You can... Uh, they're, they're revolting against each other. Okay. Come back down here where you can chill and you can train. Oops, I was boxed. So we're going to take all their land. We're going to peace out. No quarter. Actually, we probably should have picked a different one because we don't need aggressive expansion now, but habits are habit. Back to drilling. A lot of farming land. Cultural assimilation. Uh, I must be spending my political influence on there because I'm not getting to the 100 I'm trying to save up for. I don't remember why I was trying to save up for 100, but... Oh, supporting my heir. That's right. Um, what does it take? 172 gold. So we don't have the money for it. But that's probably a very nice place to end it before someone declares war on us. Let's end this and call this a victory. Uh, we have a hostile siege going on, but they're never going to take it. So that's fine. So yeah, no. Well, as far as I'm concerned, we're at peace. There's a few barbarians outside the gates of one of my cities, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Everything is great. Uh, so on that note... Thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode where we'll probably maybe declare war or just keep chilling. We'll see. Probably declare war. Thanks again.